Hello guys, it's Remos here, and I'm addicted to classic WoW. Like, it wasn't enough to be addicted to one WoW, now I'm addicted to two WoWs. And in this video, I'll show you my UI, like I did in Legion and BFA. I waited a while because I wanted to see if LUI would come out for classic to try and make it similar to my retail UI, but it's pretty hard to convert and it will take more time for it to be ready. But after messing around with tons of add-ons, swapping them and customizing them a lot, I'm pretty happy with my current UI, and I want to share with you some add-ons that will help you out in a top 10 format, plus some more smaller quality of life add-ons and a few interesting add-ons. I'm not 60 yet, I've been taking my time on my first character, exploring the world, did some more PvP, pushed out Nixium and the Horde out of Westfall with Sieve's guild, we got Keanu Reeves in our guild, you don't mess with Morning Tea. Played on a few alts, I got the flight points in every area, did a little bit of dungeons, or okay, maybe a lot of dungeons, hey, I'm a frost mage. Made a ton of Asmongold edited highlight videos and slaughtered turtles for 10 hours for gold, where a bunch of people asked for my UI too, even if it wasn't finished yet, but I saw many people liked it, even had messages of people asking me and messenger ravens coming with letters asking me for a list, so here it comes. I main druid in retail since forever, but I decided to level up a mage first in classic though I'll probably level up more characters afterward. Now, if you want an authentic classic experience with no changes, it might be nicer at least on your first character to play without add-ons, but I already did all this and I've been using add-ons ever since I started playing in TBC, so it doesn't change my experience. And I'm a bit of a UI god and really like customizing interfaces, though I'm really used to what I have in retail and I love it and keep updating it, even if I didn't really play BFA apart from the world campaign ending and a few dungeons or raid mounts runs on my alts, but I think this UI for Classic fits well. Since it's simple and clean and you don't need that many add-ons for Classic like you do for Retail because the game is simpler and there are less features in it that you need add-ons for. So without further ado, we're going to go over each part of my interface. Let's first get to 10 of the most important add-ons in my opinion in no particular order and then a few smaller ones that will help you out. I'll make an archive with all of them that you can download and place in your interface folder. Be sure to keep updating it using the Twitch app too, but I'll show a little setup at the end if you need more help or if you don't click links. So the first one that I think is the most important add-on that I have spent the most time on are the unit frames. I initially used Xperl, but recently swapped to Shadow with unit frames. Since they are a lot more customizable and I think look nicer, and I managed to get them to look similar to LOI's frames. It took me the most time to set them up like this, they also show party frames and right frames. I keep the right down on the right like in retail, I set it up to show percentages and numbers, the level colored based on the level, the names and power bars based on the class and made the health bar bigger than the mana bar. Also I've added a small XP bar on it and made the target fade a bit if it's out of range. And you can see the timers for buffs and dots as well. You can see my settings and apply them yourself but luckily you can export and import them like the LUI frames. So you just paste this long as code in your profile and it should start stealing your gold and mailing it to me. I mean update your unit frames to look like mine. I'll paste this in the comments if it's not longer than the character cap of the YouTube comments. Next, the bars. I used to use Bartender 1000 years ago, now in retail I use the integrated LUI bars as well as most of the integrated LUI functions that cut the need for many add-ons, but in classic I use dominoes with a mask and shadow skin over them to make them look nicer. As always I prefer to have three main bars in the middle and I have two hidden bars on the right similar to how I have them pop up in retail for things that I don't use that often. And I also have the bag and menu bar hidden in the corner. I used to have the big XP bar on the top from Domino's, but now I have the one integrated in the unit frames. And Domino's also comes with a cast bar that I have updated to the Gnosis cast bar now. It's always useful to have some damage meters. I don't like to have them open all the time, so in BFA using LUI I can toggle them with the buttons next to the orb, but Simple problems require simple solutions, so in classic I made two macros and added a button with both of them here on the hidden bars. One of them is slash details show and the other is slash details hide. And I have them set up as two connected frames, one for damage done and one for healing. But I usually just keep them on in dungeons and raids. It may help you to get five blues including a best in slot offhand in your first sunken temple run. Not bad, not bad. 
It's also important to have nice nameplates that show you everything you need to know. Same as retail, I use KUI nameplates plus real mob health to display the health of the target instead of just the percentages. How it works is that after you fight a certain mob, it calculates its health and displays it for all future mobs that are the same as the one you defeated. Apart from that, it's also great to see timers for your dots or buffs on the nameplates like they show up on the unit frames. Same for cast bars, KUI takes care for all of this, but there are separate add-ons called Classic Aura Durations and Classic Cast Bars that can do that on their own, but I like to have them all in KUI's style. Another important part is having a clean map that doesn't take over your whole damn screen for no reason. There are multiple add-ons that I've used here, but I ended up with Leatrix maps. It's the best because you can move it around, it becomes transparent if you move with it open, and don't have the mouse over it. It shows the levels for each zone, flight master locations, shows you the unexplored zones of each zone, displays boats and where they go to, and dungeon and raid entrances. You can also zoom in and out and see coordinates for the player and cursor. Overall, it's a really great map add-on. Then there's also the minimap, not that important, more about the style. I went a bit old school using sexy map with a custom faded square skin and a few modifications. Chatter is a great add-on for the chat, no shit. It allows you to customize it a bit more. I have it set up to only show the go down button if I scroll up and my chat box to appear above the chat frame and also have a border based on the color of the channel. You can also click invite links to invite people to your party directly and it has some more quality of life features. Oh and by the way, type slash console set chat class color override zero in chat. It's a great script to see the names of everyone in their class color in every channel. Then the bags and vendor prices. I go a bit insane when I see people with 100 bags not finding what they want in them. So please take one bag 3 or bag none. I use bag none now to combine all your bags into one. You can also search for items in your bags with it, clean them up and set them up much nicer since it's just one big bag instead of five smaller ones. Plus, get something to see vendor prices for items even when you're not at a vendor. It's useful to see the prices in many situations even when questing and not knowing what item to pick as a reward to sell. This way you can see the most expensive ones. There's another literally called vendor prices, but I use Actioneer and it shows the vendor price and the auction house price if I've scanned that item at the auction house already. And speaking of the auction house, Actioneer is an awesome and simple add-on for it. It helps you buy and sell faster and easier. You just place an item there and it puts it at the best price. You can also mass place actions and select how many stacks of how many items you want placed and also helps you buy quicker at the lowest price after scanning the auction house for the item you are looking for. Atlas loot and Atlas maps are great add-ons for dungeons and raids. Of course we didn't get many quality of life updates in classic because of your damn no changes movement. I would have liked at least to have the new character Modus Sumi, but Atlas loot functions similarly to the dungeon journal. Let's you see the loot for each boss in each dungeon and raid and also let's you see the maps for each of them directly here or in the Atlas add-on. And now the most controversial and most downloaded add-on in classic, classic dungeon finder. No, Questy. Now if you want to truly experience the questing, the story, read everything, explore and not know what to do and alt tab a lot to check wowhead, um, I mean totbot for quests, you should play without this, at least your first character or the first few levels. But if like me you already did those quests 100 times in the past and want to have help directly in the game, Questy is a great add-on for this. It shows you where to go for each quest, also shows you available quests that you can start from all around the world and where to turn them in. It can get a bit crowded sometimes though, also it gives you a more modern quest tracker that you can move. Apart from that, get something for the quest log to make it extended so it's easier to use. I use Leatrix Plus for that, it has a ton of awesome settings, you can also hide errors with it, sell junk and repair automatically when you talk to a vendor, make the professions tabs bigger, increase the max camera zoom, loot faster, auto dismount when attacking an enemy if you are mounted, give you an option directly on the character frame to hide or show the head on the cloak and so on. And those were the main add-ons, apart from that I use some more Minor quality of life add-ons, Deja character stats, extends the character frame similar to retail and you can customize it a bit too. I like to just have this with the tab on the right with everything and you can also display an item level on items and have it colored based on the quality of the item. You can also use DBM for the two mechanics in the game if you need to. 
I use it more to have the timer and so you can also check how many times you killed bosses, but Ajara in Eternal Palace has more mechanics than all the bosses in Classic Combined, so you don't really need to worry about this. There's even an add-on called Twitchy Modes that makes the goddamn modes work in chat. Kill track lets you track how many times you killed each mob. Good for farming if you want to see how much of a turtle genocide you committed like I did. TomTom -tom lets you set up waypoints. Titan Panel Classic has lots of options. I just use it with a transparent background for the XP per hour tracker and time to level up calculator so I know how much time I'm wasting instead of power leveling quicker. There's already a total RP Classic add-on for um, Goldshire. Quest icon desaturation, grays out quest giver icons if you haven't completed the quest, and quest frame fixers shows the exclamation point and question mark instead of the dots. Beast trackers shows you the best in slot items for your class, spec and phase. Advanced interface options gives you more interface options available from retail, like hiding those damn Lua errors. What's training lets you see the abilities you are able to learn at your level and the upcoming levels. Great for checking if it's worth for your spec to go back to a trainer yet or not and give half away your gore to those damn greedy teachers. MSBT I like to use in retail where you have a ton of bonus damage effects for each ability to clearly see what spell did how much damage. But in classic since you have a one button rotation and the combat is a lot simpler I don't think it's necessary so I got used to the normal damage numbers. There's also parody all the things version for classic showing you unfinished quests from dungeons, raids and all the zones, as well as flight paths, recipes for professions, skills, world events and um, total deaths. I uh, didn't die that much, that's clearly a visual bug though. And a few more interesting add-ons that I want to show you. This is Azerite UI, it's a pretty good looking overhaul UI though, it's not very customizable and you can't have that many buttons unless you add a few more custom bars and add the same skin with mask with the default ones to fit. I wouldn't use it at a high level, but it gives a pretty cool experience at lower levels, especially if you pair it up with immersion for more interactive conversations with NPCs and quest givers, and if you enable the action cam. By the way, yeah, the action cam is working in Classic 2. And there's also Azerite Autopilot, similar to Questy, but it tells you what to do to level up as fast as possible. There are more overhaul add-ons like this, Aftermath UI is one of them that looks pretty good, similar to LVUI, Though LUI remains my favorite one and if and when it will be available for Classic I'll probably rework my UI with it and maybe make another video, but it may take a long time since the unit frames are hard to convert. Though I am pretty happy with how I managed to set it up, my UI after playing around with it for a month and switching a hundred addons in total. I hope you like it too, if you have any suggestions on how to improve it or other cool addons that I didn't mention, leave a comment below with them. And those are all the add-ons that I use, now for the setup guide if you don't click links, I'm going to quickly show you all my settings I have for each main add-on if you want to set them up like this yourself. Might need to rescale them a little bit since I'm now using a 2K monitor and resolution, most are pretty easy to set up like mine, the hardest should be the unit frames, but you should be able to just copy paste my profile code and get them in. Alright, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and maybe subscribe if you are new here, or I'll eat your left nose. Let me know if you want to see more WoW videos, I've barely made any League videos lately, but not much happened there to be honest. There was a hidden Star Guardian Zoe code in this video at some point though. Honestly, I thought I wouldn't like Classic too much since I already did all this and it felt like it's just a small part of the game, but I thought I didn't, but I did. Even if I still like Retail, BFA got better with 8.2. Not close to Legion, I really like Legion, but there are aspects in Classic that are not present at all anymore in Retail. Even the sense of community, people actually talk here, they walk past you and give you a buff or wave at you, you have to group up to do harder quests instead of just mindlessly killing everything. The world, even if the map is smallest of the WoW versions in Classic, it feels the biggest since there are things to do in every zone and it's not like in expansions where you just play the few zones of the expansion, you play in the whole world plus the walking around and no flying mounts make it seem a lot bigger and the game also feels more rewarding. Every level you get something, you get a talent point or a nice piece of gear you can equip or new spells to learn. In BFA you feel weaker when you level up because of scaling and losing the artifact weapons. And that's great too how gear is not obtainable from everywhere and I haven't even seen an epic yet. Instead of being able to gear up fully in 2 hours from anywhere and hope you get titan force gear like in BFA. Also there's the sense of challenge, the game is not technically harder but it's more challenging and time consuming. You can't AoE 20 mobs just by putting dots on them and be fine. I don't know if I'm a big fan of just fighting them one by one and having to drink and eat after fighting every pig you encounter, but it gives a different vibe to the game and makes you be more careful.
Plus the many RPG aspects and the fact that you play a class not a spec and get to keep the spells even if you don't use them too often. But if I want to use a fireball on a rabbit or arcane misses as a frost mage, I can. I had to fight some water elementals for a quest and they are immune to frost spells so I had to use fireballs. Those aspects make the game more interesting. But anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.